climate change brings poverty, brings causes immigration, and that poverty leads to immigration, the immigration leads to some frontiers conflict within Africa, but also between Africa and Europe. Then, uh, if we went, want to maintain a peaceful life over the world, then we have to take account of the consequences of the climate change at this moment, but not wait until it is too late to intervene. Because in, in, in that way, the climate change has to do with uh, peace questions. Bangladesh, uh, that is a very, uh, it's not a big country, but there's living one and a half million, hundred million people in Bangladesh. And it would all be swamped from the sea, you know, because it's a very low country, delta, big rivers. And from the other side is coming all the water from the glaciers of, uh, of the Himalayas. And hundred and uh, 50 million people that is beginning to move just one place in the world. Uh, of course, it will make a lot of troubles uh, while they are moving. Uh, they will come into other people's uh, living uh, living room, so to speak, and uh, and there will be a fighting because there will be less um, uh, resources for all people. So of course, all these problems it will, and we in the West. We believe in solving the problems with war. That's why we are in Afghanistan and Iraq, because we want to control the world. And if you believe in, in war as a way of solving problems, you will have war. I, I promise you will have a third world war. So I think it has a very, you have to, in your soul, we have to, you know, in Danish we say, we have to, uh, to clean for your own door first before you tell other people what they should do and we indeed need to clean for our own door because Danish people like uh, all Western people we are living in a way that it should have uh, three four five globes you know that we should all live in the way that we are living so of course our way of living is not sustainable we have to do something else. Taiwan is a small island so we want to describe our idea that our island is getting more yeah getting sink, sinking and sinking so we try to use this and try to wear like that hey, hey, pal, pal, pal. wear like that uh -huh. to describe that if we we create more carbon emissions, so our island will keep sinking. So we have to focus on this kind of environmental issue that everyone should keep an eye on that, and everyone should do their work. Bring the plastic bag when you go to shopping, or whenever you you leave the room, just turn off the light. Use more bicycle than just uh, drive your car. This year we have a huge storm, which is breaking the record. So we hope that let's stop to breaking the record, to stop to uh, more and more extremely weather, or to make great more big huge storm to uh, desertify, to destroy our country, mm -hmm. to, to sink or to sink. Mm -hmm. And to sink like an island. Because the huge countries really have little uh, effect. But the, those island countries will really be affected a lot. War is not sustainable. Uh, when you have a war, you have a, a, a martial law. I don't know what the right word is in English, but you know, uh, the real way of living, the normal way of living is put away because it's all about winning this fucking war and then we use all what is necessary. I remember in the first uh, Gulf War, uh, when Saddam Hussein had to redraw from Kuwait, you saw the burning uh, oil wells. It's bang. War is indeed not sustainable, and like you said, they are producing weapons. Also, this is stupid. I byle graf, i byle szczeniak, w odwieczne kłamstwo ich uwierzy.